Hi guys, it's Axel from Symphoniac, video number two in this Up and Running with Symphony series. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create your database in Symphony using Doctrine and how to get data in and out of it. First off, get yourself a standard Symphony framework installation. If you don't know how, check out my last video that should get you to the point where I'm going to start from here in this tutorial. So head over to your editor and get inside your configuration directory, which is located inside the app folder. We need to first connect to our local MySQL server. Let's open up the config.yaml file. If we scroll to the bottom, to the Doctrine configuration, we see that the database is configured right here. Normally, when you work with a version control system like Git, you're probably saving changes you make in uh, config.yaml. And for security reasons, you don't want your sensitive data like your database password inside your, your repository. That's why we're keeping it in our parameters.yaml file, which we don't save with our VCS. Here we see database hosts wrapped with these percentage symbols. That means it's a parameter that should be present in the parameters.yaml file. The text within the per percentages is the parameter key. I'm going to head over to parameters.yaml and see if we can find that key there. And it's right here. So I'm going to fill this out I'm gonna name my database Symphoniac password is also root user is root All right now that we completed that we can create the empty database to get things started open up a terminal window and make sure you are in the root project directory and execute following commands. PHP app console doctrine database creates. And now we get a notification saying the, the database was created for us. So I'll have a look at my local host with SQL Pro, uh, but PHP my admin works just as well if you prefer that. Let's have a look. All right, my database was in fact created. Let's try and uh, get something happening in there, shall we? Move to your app bundle. Here we're going to create a new directory called entity. And inside we will be creating, well, you guessed it, a new entity. Let's call uh, this entity product. Now this could really be anything else, but it re represents a model for anything coming from a table in your database. For example, if you're building uh, a login system, you would typically have a user entity class which maps to a user table in your database. Now let's get rid of this. And of course I have the namespace. And let's add some fields to our entity. We're gonna need an ID and a product name, maybe a stock keeping unit, and of course uh, a price. I'm gonna add some getters and setters for these. and add a constructor function. With a product name and price. Let's say these are the required fields. Okay. Now we need to map this to our database. Let's go inside the resources folder and create a mapping file for this entity. We will need to create a config folder within that a doctrine folder to contain our doctrine mapping configuration for our entities. Let's create this config folder. And 
a new file. This should be called, um, it should have the name of your entity, .orm.yaml. You could use XML too, um, but I prefer YAML. We need to specify the fully namespace class of our entity to start, which is app bundle entity products. This is going to be type entity. Uh, the table name is going to be products. The ID will be the ID field, which is going to be of type integer. This should be automatically filled. Let's add the rest of our fields, which is name. This is of type string length, let's say 255. Nullable is false, we need a name. Uh, column name. Need our SKU also a string let's make this a little bit shorter noble is true column sku and our price which is an integer noble is false column is Okay, now we're done mapping our entity. We can use the Symfony console again to do some changes to our database. What I always do before I actually push mapping changes to my database is see what Doctrine is planning on doing. You can do this by executing this command. Doctrine schema update dump SQL and hit enter. Now you can see the SQL statement Doctrine is about to execute. Create table products with all these fields. Seems fine to me. Um, let's, push, let's push this to our database with the option force. All right, database schema updated successfully. One query was executed. Let's have a look with SQL Pro. Cool, our table was created for us with the fields that we needed. And ID is in fact the primary key index. In the next video, we will be looking at how to add records to our table and how to pull some data out of it. Stay tuned.